Vets of Reddit. What was the worst pet name you have ever encountered in your job? Envelope. Actually, Darren. It's pronounced envelope -y. So I'm not a vet, but I'm deeply involved in the horse world. There's a discipline called halter, and many of the horses are genetic atrocities to begin with. They've been bred to the point of uselessness. When naming quarter horses, many breeders like to create a registered name that incorporates the parents' names and bloodlines. So, somebody bred together the stallion kid's classic style and the mare look untouchable. The best name that the breeders could come up with for the foal? Kids look untouchable. Yeah, that's the best they could come up with. Horse names in Europe go from cool like Warblade to straight up ridiculous like Puppy. Sexy for a chihuahua. Just made the whole consultation very awkward. If you could just lift sexy up here please. Thank you. Now I might need your help to hold sexy down. I'm going to put this in your bud sexy but I'll be quick. Yes, but will you bring sexy back? Not a vet, but I lived in the Marshall Islands for a few years and I noticed that all black male dogs are named La Kill Image. Black boy. All white male dogs are named La Mao Jouge. White boy. All brown male dogs are Labiororn. Brown boy, and all black and white dogs are named Oreo. One of my boys wanted to name one of our dogs Meat Stack. My son was 6 when we adopted the puppy. Same kid wanted to name his brother Turtle Flower when he was born. Needless to say he is not in charge of naming things in our household. My older daughter wanted to name her baby sister either Light of Stars or MR. Boochin but, this from the child who names her stuffies after what kind of animal they are. I love Mr. Moochin but. Old neighbor lady had a cat named Face. Because it had a beautiful face. She said. That actually works great if she has three other cats named Hannibal. B.A. And Murdoch. B.A. I pity the fool who tries to get me in that cat carrier. Murdoch. Have some milk. B.A. B.A. Milk does a body good. Full thump snores. That's honestly so sweet. Odd but sweet. My brother-in-law named his cat Salad. I once did that too. Diego, that you? Mom owns a vet practice so had a lot of these. Best worst pet parents named their cat D.O.G. and their dog C.A.T. James Bond was my favorite doggy. Pekinis. He was hilarious. There were so many mittens. Fluffies. Spots and buddies they got lost in the sea of animals. Worst story was a rescued golden retriever who was so malnourished they nicknamed him Pancake. Sadly, Pancake's kitten is were done so he dies two days after he was rescued by the local animal control. The two days I got to feed and spend time with him made it all the harder to realize he could have been saved if his family had let him go instead of leaving him chained up in the yard before they left. I hate people a lot of the time. They chained him up in their yard and left for good. Poor Pancake, humans are the worst sometimes. Klitsy, the last name of one of my mom's employees is Klitsy poor girl. Mulva Klitsy, I had a customer named Klitty. I thought WTF must be hearing things so asked her to spell it out. She responds, sure, C, L, I, T, T, Y. I still didn't believe it and made a note to check the receipts following the service. Sure enough on her visa receipt. Clitty. A few years ago at my job, an order came through for David Supern Word. Thought I was being trolled but we looked it up and he's a real guy who's been on Howard Stern. But is currently in jail. Was she the CLIT commander? Well that's definitely the trashiest thing I've read all day. I kind of hope they let their toddler name the cat. And the toddler just made a silly sound. When I was little I apparently wanted to name our cat Tit because I thought it was a nice name. My first pet that I can remember getting was a fish when I was about 3 or 4 years old. I named him Clock because I happened to be looking at a clock when my mom asked what I wanted to name him. My 4 year old tried to name our puppy Refrigerator. So how's Fridge doing nowadays? My son named his beat of fish Karate. Kids do come up with the best names. Because he is a fighting fish. In the south. I was in a waiting room with someone who brought their chicken named Tikka. Like Chicken Tikka. My husband named all of our chickens after food dishes. Kung Pao. Masala. Etc. These chickens were only for egg laying. Not to be eaten. My dog's name was Freddy. The vet put it in as Freddy. I felt so ridiculous. And never told them that's not how he spells his name. The vet tech entered Popsicle's name as Popsicle and I have never been more offended. My cat doesn't even have pedals or anything for hiding what the hell. 
I had a similar incident with my guinea pig named Ice T. They put him in as Ice T, and I was like, um no it's spelled like the rapper. You just reminded me of my time working at a pet store and being in charge of naming guinea pigs when they went into the isolation room. I'm sure I'm our vet thought we were crazy when we brought pigs named Puff Piggy, Notorious P.I.G., Piggy Small Z.T.C. in for checkups. I just spayed a kitten named Mice T. Raccoon. Our daughter was 3 when she named the all black cat. I still have no idea why she named him that. He does appear a bit chunky like a well-fed raccoon now. My old neighbors apparently thought it would be a good idea to let their 3 year old name their dog. The dog was named Dump Truck. Had a client who let each of their 3 children name the cat. The poor cat's name ended up being Hungry Jack Biscuit. A cat named Jack or Biscuit doesn't seem so bad. Well, was the kid correct? Did the dog have hell or no? Master, I'm trying to sneak around but I'm dummy thick and the clap from my cheeks keeps alerting the squirrels. Not a vet but I took in a cat from a family named Lord Wimsel at III. Yes, there were previous Lord Wimselets. We nicknamed him Wimmy. What a whimsical name. My cat's name is Soup. The vet jokes we ought to start calling him Stew if he keeps getting wet food since he's a little chunky. There was once a guy that was selling his black cat. He called it Ustasa. Ustasa was a group of soldiers from Croatia in the 1990. They are taboo today because of the crimes things they did. Didn't Hitler the Nazis disown that group because they found the things they did were so heinous? Yup, they were horrified. You know it's bad when literal Nazis think you're taking things too far. Shockingly enough. The Croatian president actually posed with a group of neo-Nazis in front of the Ustasa flag a few years back. There's actually an annual Holocaust Remembrance Day that the Croatian Jewish community has been boycotting because the government continues to humor fascist groups. When I adopted my two cars from the shelter, the staff had named them after internet browsers and search engines. I got Google and Explorer. Another couple got Firefox and Bing. Mine were promptly renamed. It's good that you're adopting your cars instead of buying the cars from a breeder. Man I hate BMWs. I think they just run out of energy after naming so many stray cats, and want the owners to feel free to rename them. I'd feel a lot better about renaming a cat named after an internet engine than I would about renaming a cat called Coco or whatever. My grandmother's jet black and incredibly angry cat was called Rainbow. XGF was a vet nurse. She came across a cat in the system called Horatio Bradshaw Roadwork. They asked for the worst name. Not the best. That is utterly fantastic. I'm someone who likes to give my cats completely ridiculous strings of names and I must give that one its proper cred. My cat is called Java. Her full title is Baroness Java Miawasas von Katzenberger IV. I used to volunteer, not as a vet, at an animal shelter. We had to give all the stray cats dogs that came in names. For in the database, they had to be unique because sometimes you had to do a search and you can't have the name Simba popping up 1000 times. It happened. So one time we had two dogs that came in together and they named them. Solar and me. Salami. It was just for during their stay. The owner was free to change the names. So not that bad and my co-worker was very creative. Went for a shelter visit the other day and the head of the rescue team was telling us that he named a dog Staircase. Cause he found it at a staircase, duh, and at that point he has taken in so many strays that he couldn't think of another name. I almost adopted a dog at a shelter who was named Banjo because he was found on the road somewhere with a toy banjo in his mouth. So that's why all the animals have weird names at the shelter. My friend's cat was named Sugar Cream at the shelter. For my part I discovered that animals with stupid names were adopted quicker because people felt sorry for them. I once named a pair of guinea pigs Alan Rickman and Brian Blessed they were a home same day. Oh also a rabbit called Starscream. My cat's name in John Hinckley, Jr. Because he was a stray that stalked me for a year and killed things to give me as offerings. Holy sh this is clever. Obligatory not a vet disclaimer, but story out of vets. My roommate had a dog called Tequito and we once had to go to the emergency vet at night because it was having trouble breathing. The dog goes in with the vet and maybe half an hour later a vet's assistant comes out, goes straight for the Latino looking couple at the other end of the waiting room and just asks them to quit her. They were looking so confused and slightly offended. 
especially since the assistant kept repeating it when they didn't answer. My roommate was slow on the uptake with it being the middle of the night and just being frozen on the spot by the awkwardness of the moment. But she finally spoke up and said to quit it was my dog. No one looked at each other for the remaining time we were there. Oh. Oh I'm getting second hand cringe from this one. I'm getting third hand cringe from this one. I used to work in a sushi joint next door to Peruvian chicken place. It wasn't uncommon for Hispanic people to start to come in. Realize they were in the wrong place and go next door. One busyish night I was serving and a family, Hispanic, came in and stood by the door. My boss, the owner and sushi chef, Korean guy, looks at them and says polo, polo there and points next door. They said oh no we're here for sushi it was awkward enough. And then because the whole restaurant heard it, small place like 8 tables. One of the couples told me they wanted to pay their, the Hispanic families, bill. Which honestly just made me feel more awkward because it was such an obvious pity move. The table that paid their bill left me $2 and a Jesus pamphlet. BTW. While the family gave me $15 which was appropriate like 20% of their check. It was awful and awkward. Me and my family went to a sushi place. And at one point the waiter came up to us and said. Oh. You guys are Indian. Right? And came back 10 minutes later with a plate of Japanese curry. On the house. It was kinda strange, but we couldn't complain about free food. Not a vet, but an owner. When my German Shepherd goes in, I tell them he responds to dog. His actual name is Dante, and he comes running when anyone even breathes it. But if I all I want to do is get him to look over to me or to stop whatever he's doing, I just say dog. Also, he gets very very excited whenever anyone tells him he has fat but disease. The office. He pushes you around with his big butt asking for scratches. Vet's office staff seemed very pleased with this information. We keep calling his name but he doesn't get excited at all. Just tell him he has fat butt disease. Vet tech here. Worst one was hands down tub Gerald 96. It was a name given to a sweet, young adult female cat. The owners thought they were funny. My dad has always wanted a dog named Askim so when someone asks what your dog's name is you can just say Askim. That's quality dad joke there. Akim Ashkim is also a word of endearment basically meaning my love in Turkish too. So your dad unintentionally went bilingual also lol. My husband can never see this comment. My cat's name is Shu. My friend's aunt has a cat named Titties. Can we come play with her aunt's titties? Don't worry, we won't touch her feline though. Ha, ah, this reminds me of a joke. A woman had a dog called Titsvivor, and one day he went missing. When she was searching for the dog she saw a policeman and asked, Excuse me officer, have you seen my Titsvivor? He replied, Oh mom, but I'd like to. I thought that was hilarious at 10. Not a vet, but my roommate's cat is named Feline Diane. I wanted to call her Chairman Meow. I ended up calling a stray in the neighborhood Chairman Meow instead in the personality matches. Did Chairman Meow kill all of the sparrows? Not a vet. I know. Sorry. My dad adopted a stray cat who wandered into his yard once. The first time he saw the cat. Not much past kitten stage. His response was. What a little sh. Little sh became the cat's name on the vet paperwork. The sad part was that she got her leg caught in a door once. And ended up having it amputated. Which led to a really awkward conversation in grade school. Before I was old enough to know better. When I told my teacher that my dad has a cat with three legs, and her name is Little Sh, not a vet but I had a dog named Shed and that led to a lot of really creative vulgarity when the dog disobeyed or ate something of value like the couch or a bag of weed. Excuse me the dog ate weed? I'm not a vet but this is somewhat related. One of our dogs is a pug. We got him a long time ago from a bad home. My wife and I kind of waited around too long to give him a proper name. So now we still just call him Pug or the Pug. I'm a little embarrassed when I take him to the vet and they ask his name and it's just Pug. You could always say his full name is Pugless, like Douglas, and Pug is just his nickname. Pugless P. Arthur. ESQ. I'm right there with you. 11 stroke 12 years ago my college boyfriend and I really wanted a cat. Went through the process and adopted one from the local shelter. But we could never agree on a name. Kept throwing names back and forth. All of a sudden it's a year later and we're still calling her Kitty. So that's her name. And now I'm freaking out that she's roughly 13 years old. I'm a vet. Senior year in vet school. 
all the students meet in the morning to review what's coming for their service that day, surgery, internal medicine, onco, etc, and pick cases. On the roster one day was a dog named Nier. This was rural Washington in the 90s. So not the most enlightened place or time. We had one black student in our class a smart and fiery woman. After some gasps from the students, she claimed the case and set about to read up on it. The people and the poor dog showed up, and this student went in to get the history. I can only imagine the looks on the owner's faces. The student said the exchange went something like this. Vet student. Hi, I'm future DR. X I'll be working with you today. I see your dog is named Nier. For today. Let's just go with Lucky. I can't recall how the rest of the case went, but this was a proud moment for our class. Upvote for an actual veterinarian. And username checks out too. Kitty. Now you may be wondering why that's a bad name. Kitty. Was an iguana. This is my favorite so far. My cat is called Hamster too. I used to have a hamster called Hamster. I rescued Fatch's cat when he was 23 pounds and got him down to 13 pounds. So Fatty was known to our vets by cats since we didn't know how it would play. I was once at the dog park and this lady kept yelling at her dog. Kevin. Get over here Kevin. Let me take your picture. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin was an old, overweight black lab. I still laugh when I think about it. I met a dog named Rick Allen while walking my dog. Rick Allen was missing a front arm and his owner always used the full name. Rick Allen. Sit. Sit. Rick Allen. I used to walk a dog named Julia Child. Every time I came over, I would open the door and go M's. Child. Your 2 o'clock is here. And neither of us would laugh. But hey that's showbiz. My neighbor's dog is Steve and it kills me. He's a little pix dash that looks like scrappy do. Steve just rolls off the tongue. I like it. In the UK, there is a program called Gogglebox essentially people to reacting to the week's TV. There is a family on it with about 5 huge Rottweilers. A fan favorite is Dave. Always front and center and sitting on their couch. I always chuckle when they're yelling Dave. Dave. Get off the effing couch Dave. Obligatory not a vet. But my history teacher told us that he let his daughter name the cat when she was very young. And she called him Fluffybert. Years later she decided to rename him Milo. History teacher lived in a fairly rough area of the city and didn't exactly enjoy yelling Fluffybert into the night to get the cat home. I had a friend with a cat named Radiator because she named it when she was a toddler. Not sure why her parents went along with it. Not a vet, but have worked with pets over the years. There was an old GSD named Wally, a Lars named Sky and a cat named Bird Dog. Best name ever was a one-eared chihuahua mix named Vincent. A cat named Monster which wouldn't be that bad. Except that the family's last name was Johnson. Monster Johnson ha 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 ha. Not a vet but I saw a posting for a cat named Fawcett. Not a vet f knuckles the cat. Not a vet. Growing up. I had a friend who owned an iguana named TDI, the damn iguana, named by his mother who hated it, as I recall. When I was a kid down south, there were at least two black dogs named Nier in my neighborhood. It was pretty common. Was a common name in the UK in the mid 20th century partly thanks to Guy Gibson of the famous Operation Chastise Raid. His dog had the same name, which has generated controversy over the years when they've done movies and books. The question always being do we want to be historically accurate or sensitive to the obviously racist undertones and change it? Dated a girl in high school and their dog was named Rebel. Her mom said she wanted to name it the n-word. But she was worried when she'd go outside and call the dog that some of them might come in. That relationship didn't last long after that. Probably mine. My last name starts with K. And I was a captain in the USAF. For some reason. Captain Crunch stuck with me. In Polish rural areas almost all black dogs used to be called Merzin. Negro. Not a vet. But I once knew a cat named Hitler. He was named that because he was all white except for a black spot where the mustache would go. He was a stray. But everyone in the neighborhood knew him and left food out. And he answered to that name. I met a cat with the same features but his name was Chaplin. The classy choice. I'm not a vet. But I've met a dog before named Neutered. The owner said that it will always make the dog remember the owner has the power and not the dog. I'm not a vet but two of my cats have names that often get raised eyebrows when they go for checkups. Shten and Jugs. 
obligatory, not a vet. I was in the vet's waiting room, and there was a puppy with a woman and a child. The puppy was named Dave. The child was Atari. This is the best response. Damn. I really wanted to name one of my kids Atari. My wife refused and told me I can name a dog that one day.